Hey guys, what is going on? Welcome to another Pygame tutorial video. In this video, we're going to be uh, still talking about pseudo 3D or 2.5D. Uh, and what we're going to do is we're going to modify our square function to actually be a cube. So, um, for those of you who have forgotten from the last one, this is our square function, and, and we're in theory zoom, zooming in here and then zooming out here. Um, that was the idea of it. We can also move left, right, and all that. Um, <clears throat> but now we want to convert this to, to some sort of a cube, and then I'll show you some fancy stuff that we could do with the cube to give the impression of um, perspective. So what do we need to do to turn a square into a cube? Well, um, kind of like I showed you before, I mean, we've got this simple square. I'll draw a square instead of, uh, and then I'll, I'll make it ugly soon. So when to make a square into a cube, what do you have to do? Well, you have a square, and then all you do is you add another square. <laughs> That's about it. Um, and then you just need to connect all of the lines of that, or all the like uh, vertices of the square. That's the proper terminology now. And boom, you have suddenly generated a cube. It gives the impression that it's a cube. It's really just lines on a flat, you know, page basically. But it gives the gives us the idea that it might be a cube. It might be 3D. And then, you know, when it's stationary, our eyes can play tricks on us, and that's how we have these sort of uh, optical illusions that are on like a flat page. There's a reason why most of optical illusions are a 2D representation, right? Or maybe they're a 2.5 attempt at making depth. But the reason why optical, you know, illusions are always on a page are because if you added a, a, a real 3D element to it and you were able to like move around and change your perspective, a lot of times you would see instantly the flaws. Um, so like with this cube, I mean, if we were to change perspective, the cube would be totally flat. It would look really weird. Um, but anyways, just on a 2D, it gives us the impression that maybe it's a cube. So that's what we want to do. So how do we do that? Well, we have basically all of the, like, well, we define all the nodes here then we go ahead and draw all the nodes here, or I mean, we draw the lines here, then we drew all of the nodes here. So now, how might we define some new nodes? Well, I'm gonna go ahead and define those nodes here, uh, try and put everything uh, under its other counterpart. And we have node uh, now five, and we'll just say five equals space, and then let's go ahead and copy that paste, paste, and paste. So we need uh, four more nodes, so five, six, seven, and eight. Now, what? how will we um, determine where to place these nodes? Well, ideally to make the perfect little cube, this, the length of, uh, of this line should be about the same length or identical to the length of this line, right? That would be the idea, and that way it's like a perfect cube. Um, we're not going to get that perfectly, but how might we make the length of this, uh, that line, this uh, the slanted line, the same length as this line? Well, the way that I would do it, at least at the outset, would be, <clears throat> I'll call, we'll call this <clears throat> uh, offset, and we'll just say offset equals the integer value of full size full size divided by 2 so offset will be the offset of x and y that's why we divide it by 2 because we've got two uh, axes here that we're going to apply this to so in theory if you give it if you give half of the offset to x half of it to y we've covered the same amount of distance and uh, that'll do. So obviously that's not the perfect formula for this, but it's close enough to give us um, a decent looking cube. So now node five, six, seven, and eight are basically um, going to be the same, uh, same sort of code. So for example, node five, what will node five be? Well, first of all, it's gonna be a list because we wanna be able to modify it. And we're gonna say node five is node one, element zero, plus the offset, comma node one element one uh oops minus the offset so this is adding to the x so we're going you know to the right and then we want to make this go up for now um so we have to subtract from y to make things go up as usual so uh that is the code required so now let's just copy this come down here paste paste and paste oops interesting 
And now let's just modify the node values here. So one, two, three, and four. And then this will be two, three, and four. <clears throat> then we're going to go ahead and uh, we'll draw these lines here. Um, so this, uh, just copy this, enter, enter, paste. And now to basically all we need to do for all of these nodes is add four. So instead of node one, that would be node five. Instead of node three, that would be node seven, five, and six. I think I might have screwed up one of those. Um, I guess we'll find out soon enough. Um, so I have four, six, uh, eight, seven, eight. Basic math is failing me. So let's check this one. Five, seven, five, six. Okay. <clears throat> Good. So we've got all those, and then um, then we want to add the nodes. So let's go ahead and add the drawing of the nodes, and then um, so instead of node, uh, so it's to be five, six, seven, and eight. Now you might think that okay, well we've done all the things we need, but really now we've just got two squares, right? We want to connect those two squares. So uh, the final thing that we do is we're actually going to draw lines from each node to their counterpart node. So we'll take this since we're going to draw four lines. Let's just copy this and come down here, <clears throat> paste. Uh, we'll get rid of these, uh, this information here. And now, so we're drawing a line to and from the counterpart node. So. Um, <clears throat> So in our cube, um, not the best cube ever, but basically that's what we have right now. And now I want to draw the line from this node to this node, and then from this node to this node, not that little dot, and then this node to this node, and so on. So um, so now to do that, that would be from node, okay, we'll do node one, two, three, and four, and then it's going to be this node plus four, right? So five, six, seven, and eight. All right, and then we got so we got the lines now. So now when we save and run this, hopefully, I uh, got an error. Node five got to have uh, the underscore. Where did we put node five? I don't even. Oh, here we go, right here. Underscore. Okay, try again. Okay, so there we have our cube, and we can zoom in and out of our cube. Awesome. So you can see the whole cube scales. It appears to be a relatively perfect cube, if I do say so myself. Uh, and we can zoom in, we can zoom, uh, we'll zoom in, we can zoom out now, and all of that. So, you know, we've got a decent representation. Now this was with zoom, and uh, the next thing I really want to show you guys is actually going to be more so uh, changing the perspective right now. So like, what if we, what if we took this, like, see like right here, this cube looks about what it should look like, you know, um, really, I suppose, here, right? Where the further back uh, section of the cube is heading towards the center of uh, our screen. But if we move, were to move over here and be perfectly centered, now the walls wouldn't be slanted. They would be perfectly straight, you know? It would almost look like you've got, you know, a square and then another square drawn slightly over it. So we have to fix that. And the same thing moving up and down. This is, in, is oops, hello. This is likely incorrect. Let's zoom in a little bit. Um, because it's it looks like it's above the center line. So it probably wouldn't be like that as long as our perspective wasn't above the center line as well. So anyways, um, we have a few more changes that we want to make. Um, so stay tuned for that. And thank you for watching.